Gollum has lighted? Are we getting it? Hello, I'm Sammy. Welcome back to my channel. We're back in Dragalia Lost in chapter 16. And I believe this is going to be the last, last episode, probably. If I seek a place where rumors spread, a busting area in a local town would be a logical starting point. If a failure would be inexcusable in His Highness's eyes, I must catch the offender. I mean, I don't really care. You never change, Elizan. You know this, yes? Alex, how long have you been there? You didn't realize I was here? I swear, you will cling to your serious nature until you lie cold and still in the grave. I can't very well leave you alone and let, and let you get yourself in trouble. So I sought the prince's permission to come. Thank you, Alex. I'm ever in debt to you. I think we can leave the formality by the wayside, don't you? More importantly, what's your read on these rumors? The speed of their spread is no accident. I believe it's likely some organization is working to see them swiftly propagated. Additionally, we have the fact that Ciela went out of her way to inform me of them. When one put those two items together, an inescapable conclusion comes to mind. You suspect the church, as I had thought that, though I cannot deny there has been disturbing activity coming from their direction of the late. I pray my fears prove unfounded, but for the nonce, I will attempt to follow the flow of rumour in town. Step lightly, Erzan. If people realise who we are, it will lead to trouble. I mean, maybe don't dress like a paladin? Hey there, do you have a second talk? I'd like to ask you about the damage caused by the Voldragon. It is him, the other! What the hell? And there goes another one. Huh. We'll never be able to gather information if people flee in terror at our approach. I can't believe all these jerks think my guy is the other! How dare you think my guy? It's alright, Naughty. It's my fault things have ended up like this in the first place. I was so caught up in defeating the other and saving Zephyr that I didn't notice what a sad state the country had fallen into. Almost without my noticing, the people's hearts have drifted away from both myself and the rest of the royal family. You mustn't be discouraged. I'm certain we will find someone willing to speak with us. Uh, Prince Magai? Say, I remember you. You used to come play at the Halidon, Halidon some time ago. How have you been? I'm great, but I've been sad that I couldn't go play at the Halidom. Ah, yes. We've been away a lot late lately. And you're not scared of me? Nope. There's no way you're the other. But nobody believes me when I tell them. I appreciate your trust. Tell me, though. Have you heard anything about a void dragon that attacked this village? Yeah, this big black dragon swooped in a week ago, then a bunch of water came and everybody ran away. Sounds like a water dragon to me, so it doesn't explain why I showed up out of the clear blue sky like that. Yes, while void dragons are often frenzied, they, really they rarely appear near populated areas. Something must have been driving it. We need to learn more. At least that little girl has some common sense in her. So basically, the prince has been possessed by the other. If that's the case, he could come attack our village at any moment. I gotta hurry and warn the others. Aye, sir, watch and keep it close, but now I must be off. <laughs> Ellie and Alex just grab this dude and just... That is clearly the cur responsible for spreading the baseless rumors. He's leaving that shop as we speak. Let's follow and see where he goes. Huh. Alright, hello. How's it going? Let's talk of the whole town, Captain. As for me, I'll await your next order. Hey, I'm not your captain anymore, remember? Anyway, go to the next video and see, see the word there too. I'm heading to see the priest. Priest? Ah! Oh, it does have something to do with the church. The other man is clearly a former Dianel soldier, and he's off to talk with a priest. My fear has borne bitter fruit. Who is the priest in this region anyway? Wasn't it? No, it can't be. Do you want me to head back to the church and seek further instruction? This is correct. My duty as a paladin is to inform the church of this at once. If it becomes known that these groundless rumors are spreading because of someone affiliated with the church, its authority will be greatly shaken. Yet I cannot permit someone spreading such falsehoods about the prince to continue unchecked. What ought I do here? What would you usually do? What is it? Who is it that you believe, Elizan? The false prince? The deceitful church? Or... Or who? My, might I make a request, Alex? Oh, I know that look. You want to go running off on your own again. And what would you do? have me do during your alone time? Oh, boy. Job's done. Done thoroughly, my support. The Nets were happy to assist. Oh, hello. He is remun remun remuneration? 
Isn't it remuneration? Okay, for your services. It is not much, but I pray you use it to make a better life for your family. Holy crap. Uh, Thanks, but we That's can hard. sure use it. But if I may, why do you want Excuse us to you. spread this rumor about... Huh? huh? Someone's there. Marco Simp. So it was you, Farmer Marco. Ah, Elizan, it's been some time. You had my gratitude for the assistance with food distribution back then. Father, why have you done this thing? You only ever cared to become close with the people of this region and bring them the word of Ilya's salvation, but now... Though my actions may not seem laudable, I can no longer turn a blind eye to a royal family that cares not one whit for the plight of its common people. You hear the truth in my word, child. I know you do, so join us. Join us! Together, we will create a new land where we will support each other under the rich blessings of the goddess. Your heart overflows with love for the people, which is a precious thing indeed. But I serve his highness, and as such, I hereby arrest you in his name. That is most unfortunate. Sir, I pray forgive this request, but I fear I will need you to deal with this woman. You want me to take on a grand paladin? That won't come cheap. It's all about money. And as I am, summon the prince, just as you asked. Alex, your highness. Are you okay, Ellie? Hey, us the champ would be behind spreading all them nasty rumors around. It's time to pay the fiddler, pal. Heh, if it isn't the other's loyal band. Fine then, I'll take you all on at once. You will be dead. By the end of this, you will be dead, alright? On the floor, mangled, covered in um, orange juice for some reason. I just had orange juice. And, uh, it's quite nice. Not good for recording, though, because it makes you phlegmy. Don't drink juice when you're recording, people. Makes you phlegmy. And he's down. Dead, mangled, covered in orange juice. Stay out, just stay down, buddy. There's no need for anybody to die over this thing. Yeah, we'll spare your miserable life, even though you're a dirty rumor spreader person. Easy words. Yet when you you people defeated the other, you spared no thought for what would come after, for those like me who found themselves without work or coin. I hear what you're saying. You misled people with false rumors, which is unacceptable. However, I also understand you were doing what you felt you had to do to survive. When Diana fell, the people who served it scattered and left to fend for themselves, and I'm going to see that midway. You're coming with us, Father Marco. I want you to explain everything in detail back at the Haladum. Very well. If you wish to explain yourself, Father, now is the time to lay facts out in full. I have nothing to say to you. Proceed with your judgment. Though my life be forfeit, others will come after to take up the cause and lead this country down a better path. Uh, I see you've caught the charlatan pulling the strings behind the scenes, and it was the f in fact the church who was responsible. Is it my boy? There he is. Leonidas, you handsome mother, but um, I'll take possession of the priest now. The royal family will then conduct his trial and hand down appropriate judgment. As your highness, Father Marco serves the goddess Ilya, thus his judgment must be based on Ilian doctrine. By your leave, I will take him to the church and request an inquisitor. You would do no such thing. This man has be besmirched the royal family, and it would not do for us to leave his punishment up to the whims of the church. Mother is gonna get off light, that's why. Elizan, we should hand him over. If you take him, you only end up embroiled in an internal church conflict. Your position as a paladin could even be endangered. Do the smart thing here. Do not worry yourself about such Alex. For after I give Father Marco over, I will renounce my position as Grand Paladin. Hey, are you mad? To be a paladin is your life's ambition. Why would you throw it all away? I'm sorry, Alex, but I have put much thought into this, and my mind is firm. I am not adroit enough to both serve his highness and perform the duties of required of a paladin. As such, my loyalty to his highness must take precedence. Ellie, I don't... Be certain of this choice, Elizan. Are you certain you will not regret it? I am. Then if this be your path, you must walk it. Thank you. You would abandon your treasured position and adhere to your beliefs? Impressive. In that case, I withdraw my complaint and remand the priest to your custody. I am obliged to you, Prince Leonidas, and your highness. I have made many infrequent mistakes. After learning of the existence of that historical document, I lost sight of both my mission and my own beliefs. Moving forward, I will no longer be a grand paladin of the Ilian Church, but your vassal in Tyre. And beyond that, I will be your friend. Elizan, are you sure about this? I think Alex is right. There's no need for you to give up your position in the church over this. My heart is resolute. In that case, I'll be counting on you more than ever. 
I shall not let you down again. Not ever. Now stand before my marker. I'm taking you to the church and face my judgment. Whoa, there's a dragon. That sound. That was a void dragon's cry. Confirming the presence of a single dragon in a nearby area. It's coming and fast. Okay, everyone, we're moving out. We have to intercept that dragon. Woo! Dragon time, baby. Oh, it's a Poseidon. Sweet. This thing is way too close. The halogen's gonna be at risk if we can't take it out. Hang on, there's something strange about this dragon. I can feel it. It's as if it's suffering, suffering terribly. You're right, darling. It's faint, but I can hear it trying to say something. Help me. Yes, that's it. The dragon is being tormented by black mana and needs our assistance. If we could use holy power to purify the black mana, we might be able to free it. Do it, Zena. And once. Oh, goddess Ilya, I beseech you, answer my heartfelt prayer. I bid you use your cleansing power to wash the dragon free of corruption and darkness. That easy, huh? Didn't even have to fight it. Is it working? Look, it's working! One more push, Zena, you got this! And then it fails. Yep, I thought so. What the hell is happening with it? You okay? Damn it, that thing went back to how it was before. Maybe this ain't gonna work. I can hear its voice no longer. Even though I purified the black mana, the miasma returns in short order. I may lack the power to do this. Then I shall assist you. Thank you, Eliza. Though I know not if it will be enough, let us offer up a prayer together. It will work, I know it will. So Ellie can do the whole praying mana thing as well. So how come her gala wasn't a healing unit or something? That would have been better, right? Oh, we get a cutscene for this. Cool. Oh, is that image? Okay. No more hesitation. I believe in his highness and the future he leads us to. Do it, baby. And I believe in myself as well. As well. Woo, Jesus. And after that, he gonna get this whack, yo. I feel your mana flowing, Elizabeth. It's a pure and wonderful power. Oh, sacred mana, let your light flow over this poor dragon and set it free. Wait, wouldn't she disappear if she uses too much mana? Wasn't that the whole kabash? Kabang. Hot damn, ladies, you did it! The dragon has returned to its original form. Oh my gosh, look at it! It's hideous! Hello! I like you, Poseidon! Gala Poseidon? Are we getting it? Holy crap, look at him! I like him! We need more water dragons, by the way. Such a sublime form, such waves of pure water manner. You've been reborn, I'm so glad. Thanks, babies! Oh, he looks so dope! Bye! The dragon is standing down, and it's leaving. We were able to save it without harming it. You saved this dragon, Elizan. Indeed, it was your believing heart that not only purified the dragon, but also allowed it to be reborn. My believing heart? What is this, an anime? Probably. What an interesting spectacle that was. Thank you for the amusement. Oh, bloody hell. Go away, Jesus. Siela, you certainly look as though a weight had been lifted off your shoulders, former Grand Paladin. I'm so delighted that you people finally found the truth. Hopelessly late, but still. However, your show ends now. Peril Shroud expand. The only reason why they're evil is because Nedric put that mask on them, right? Siela, why are you trying to fight us? Don't misunderstand, I'm fundamentally incompatible with you people. The only way to establish a new justice and orders for the Illyan Church and you to disappear. How about you, Elizan? Show me this vaunting, believing heart of yours. Vaunted. That is all the time I have for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next one. Bye bye!